Hey gang, good morning. Pastor Jerry here. Just finished my morning ride with my buddy Dodgel, Pastor Dodgel. And, um, you know, I want to kind of share with you guys something that's been on my heart for a while and something that I've heard my whole life as a Christian. And I hear people say, and I don't think they really understand what they're saying because it's not biblical. And so, um, if this helps you guys, uh, go ahead and share this with somebody. Uh, and, and if it's you, I hope it changes your heart and I hope you kind of do some research and just make sure that um, you're accurate in what you're saying. You know, I'll hear people say, well, um, you know, God put me through this bad situation or God caused this thing to happen. First of all, the Bible says that every good and perfect thing comes from the Lord. And the Bible also says that the enemy comes to steal, kill and to destroy. So God has given us a world right now where we can make choices. And quite frankly, he's given the world for a season over to the enemy. Now, the Bible also says that we have overcome the world through Christ Jesus. And the Bible also says that it rains on the just and the, the just and the unjust. The Bible also says that Jesus said that in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I've overcome the world. So in this world, bad things are going to happen to us. It's either Satan's fault or our fault. I'll give you an example. People say, well, uh, they're acts of God or of tornadoes and earthquakes and hurricanes. That is not God's fault. That is not, does God allow it? Yes, but he's allowing it for a season and a reason, I tell people. And Satan caused it. If you believe the word of God, if you know the word of God, then you know that Satan causes these things to happen because we're, we live in a fallen world. That's number one. Number two, it's normally sometimes our fault because when people do stupid things, when people go out and drink and drive, when people go out and have sex outside of marriage, when people go out and um, um, cuss people out, when people leave their jobs without having a job already, unless God told you to specifically, and then things get bad, then we wanna blame God. Then we wanna say, well, God said, or God put me through this. No, God didn't put you through that. That was your choice to fornicate. That was your choice to drink and drive. That was your choice. And we gotta stop blaming God for stupid stuff that we do, stuff that we know we should be doing. Because here's the deal. People who say that, they normally, normally, don't have a passionate, strong, consistent walk with Christ. They just don't. Because I wouldn't say things about my wife because things happen in my marriage that I'm not sure of. And I'll break that down for you. I know my wife very, very well. So I know what she likes and doesn't like. Same thing for her. She knows what I like and don't like. So because I know her, I won't say things about her that are false or assume things that are false. If I need to, and if I'm going to assume it, I'll ask her first what her thoughts are. And that's the other thing too, is that people aren't really asking God what he wants. People aren't really asking God what his plans are for them. They're just going out and going off of what they feel instead of asking God. And then when bad things happen, they blame God. God is here to bless, not cause distress. I'll say that again. God is in your life to bless, not cause distress. Will he walk with you through your stupidity? Of course he will, he loves you. God, that's where grace kicks in. God is not mad at us, but he's standing by to allow us to make the choice to him. The Bible says, he says, choose you this day who you will serve. The Bible says, choose life, choose life, not death. Choose blessing, not cursing. But see, he gives us a choice and people get freaked out about that because God doesn't make us serve him. God gives us a choice whether or not we want to serve him. And even when we serve God, bad things will happen. <laughs> look at the apostle Paul, look at Jesus, look at John the Baptist, look at the Christians right now in, in Afghanistan. We want to seem as if, if we serve God, we'll be in hunky dory land. And that isn't the case. God has called his people to walk in love, to walk in unity, to walk, but also to walk in wisdom. And we can't keep saying that God put me through this and this is God's doing it. And he's, and God's using it. Yes, he can use it, of course, but he didn't cause it. It's either Satan's fault or our fault when things happen bad to us. In this world, Jesus said it, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart for I have overcome the world. And we overcome the world by the, the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And the Bible says that without, 
um, the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. So we've got to make sure uh, that we're we're walking in God's purpose. And then all the hurt, all the drama, all the pain, all the hardships will be worth it because we know that we're in God's purpose. I'm not saying that when you're in God's purpose, bad things will never happen. What I am saying is God will be with you. He'll walk with you and he's allowing it to happen to shape you. To, to, to mold you and to refine you. When you are doing stupid stuff, when you're going out there and doing crazy things on your own, that ain't shaping you. <laughs> That's causing pain that God didn't want. To, it's wasted grace is what it is. So, just want to share that with you guys this morning. Don't blame God for stuff you did. Don't blame God for stuff Satan did. Satan is in the business to accuse. The Bible says that he's the accuser of the brethren. So make sure that when he accuses God, you check your, check the root of your issue. Did it come from ignorance, fear, bad decisions? And also too, when you, when things happen in your life and you've made the choice or, bum, 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 let's see, when things happen in your life that aren't good, the, the consequences aren't good, don't say you made a mistake. You made a bad decision. You made a bad decision. A mistake is walking down the street and slipping on a rock. A mistake is you you hitting your head um, as you go through a door that's too low. A mistake is um, running and playing catch and you tripping over a hole in the ground. A bad decision is when you knew that you knew that you knew the consequence and the effect and you did it anyway because you wanted it. And so let's now as Christians begin to call a spade a spade, stop blaming God, blame the devil or blame yourself, go to God, ask for forgiveness, repent and let him lead you. All right, love you guys. I'm gonna go shower because I'm stinky. Dog barking back there. All right, have a great Thursday. Love you guys, bye-bye. If you like this, share this with somebody. See ya.